Hey, Rob, Irene, thanks for meeting me here. Um, as you know, the YMCA has been going through some budget cuts, so we've been required to combine some clubs. The um, craft club and the sewing club are actually now the homemaking club, and the medieval club and Dungeons and Dragons club is now the single men over 35 club. <laughs> Okay, listen, Frank, I can see where you're going with this, but as the leader of the feminist group for Strength and Serenity, we refuse to combine with him. He represents everything we're against. Hey, the masculinist club of manly manhood man times, or Mick mm, will prevail. <laughs> you have six members worldwide. Guys, I know this sounds a little crazy, but you scored almost identically on the club compatibility test. What? What? That's impossible. I mean, we could redo the test orally right now if you want. Yes, please. What do you consider the greatest movement of the 1900s? Women's, women's suffrage. suffrage. What? what? See, compatible. You honestly care that much about women's suffrage? Absolutely. Before women's suffrage, your people expected my people to do all of the voting. Are you kidding me? Women's suffrage came about when men finally gave women the right to vote. Oh, wow. Way to twist the facts to put a positive spin on women's nefarious past. <laughs> uh, do you know what the word suffrage means? Yeah, it's an onomatopoeia. It means men suffer when women rage. <laughs> Everything you just said was wrong. Was it? Because you're making me suffrage now. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, um, maybe let's go on to the next question. True or false? There should be equal pay in the workplace regardless of gender. True. True. Okay, there is no way that you, of all people, think that it's a societal injustice that women are paid less than men. You're right. The societal injustice is that men are paid more than women. Rob, that doesn't make any sense. Fact. Men are paid 22% more than women. Therefore, if I'm walking down the street with a woman, it's 22% more likely that I'll be mugged. Hashtag mo money, mo problems. <laughs> Frank, please do not make us combine with a group that actively protests Amelia Earhart. Yeah, because it's totally sexist that we revere her. I get lost all the time. <laughs> but does anyone call me a hero? No, in fact, Search and Rescue is like, this is the last time we send someone to find you. And I'm like, it's not my fault Walmart is so big. Ah! <laughs> all right. All right, um, I actually, I think I found one that you disagree on. What is the greatest professional sport ever? Women's gymnastics. WNBA. Oh, oh, come on, now I know you're lying. I'm an unapologetic feminist and even I apologize for the WNBA. The entire reason why I started the masculinist movement was because the WNBA rejected me. Because you're a man. And that doesn't sound sexist to you? Why would you even want to be in the WNBA? There's no money, no fame, no fans. And no pressure. But in the NBA, or MNBA, thank you, if LeBron James misses a game-winning free throw, Twitter explodes and like a baby panda dies. What is your point? It's like the old adage, if a tree falls in the forest and misses a layup, but nobody sees it because let's be honest, trees in that forest, they can't even dunk. <laughs> Does the tree feel bad for missing an easy shot? I don't know, I'm not a treeologist. <laughs> okay, this man is clearly a chauvinist. No, no, any man who defends the WNBA, no matter the reason, cannot be a chauvinist. <laughs> Their clubs are now on. Oh. <sighs> Okay, fine, but your club better take our group discussion seriously. Oh, we will, okay? What's next week's discussion so that we can participate? Okay, we're talking about how to fight against greedy corporate hospitals by using a certified midwife. Ooh, we don't like the term midwife. We find it very discriminatory against us certified mid-husbands. <laughs> Frank, you're seriously gonna make me suffer through this. I'll take care. Rob, thank you for defending us. Yeah. Fact! There are 10% more female than male subscribers in Studio C. And I don't know about you guys, but I do not like those numbers. And you can trust them, because I'm a certified numberologist. So, come on men, push that button right there. Let's get the numbers up. I want, I want us to have, I want it, it should be like 70, 52% wise with the males.
More males than females. You know what I mean. It's like the old adage, the squeaky wheel gets the subscribers. <laughs> that deer's head just came off. Cause I'm a man, I can pull deer's heads off. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs>